and all. I'm Eki Thump and welcome back to Let's Play No Man's Sky. Um, I've just been looking at my mission log and I've noticed that despite uh, what we thought, that we had completed all the quests back at base, I've still got uh, well, I've still got that one. I never engaged and destroyed the uh, Sentinel craft. But the Overseer is still waiting for me back at base. Um, and the Technician, of course. So what I might do is actually at the start of this session is just nip back to base and see what they've got to say to me. Uh, the Overseer, I think, is our Gek friend, uh, Bob Builder. I think he's the one. Uh, if... Um, oh, we'll see. We'll go and speak to them anyway. See what they've got to say to us. I'm pretty sure the Geobay dude has something to say to us. Yeah, this guy, the Technician. Uh, so we've completed, I mean, we've built all the geobays. So hopefully, he's just gonna bounce through all of his quests. Uh, Interloper, have you constructed the Roma Geobay? Yes. Good, here's a blueprint for a signal booster. Do not delay, you have the means to set about the construction of the signal booster. We've got it. I do not know how I feel about this warrior. I do not know whether I have made a mistake, but there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honoured their word. I will honour mine. The Viking asked me to install the signal booster in my new Exocraft. Well, we've done that already. It is for this that my people shall exterminate me, and you can only blather. Grr, to work, to work, interloper. The more time I spend with this creature, the less they remind me of the other Viking I've encountered. Although the threats are still there, there is a passion within them for more than just killing. Who can say what life it might have lived, what life I might have lived, if I was not born to explore these worlds? Ah. Well, we've already done that, so you're not going to credit me for the completion, no? Ah, whatever. Um, return to the technician. Or maybe it just needed a bit of time to update. Hello? <coughs> Once we have the Exocraft signal booster, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? Enemy Slayer Yonk awaits, expecting me to announce my success in the construction of the Exocraft signal booster. Done it. Your timing is fortuitous, Traveller. Take these blueprints. The mounted cannon. Pretty sure we've done that as well. In your absence, I've made a grave discovery. There are sentinel depots on this world, and indeed every world. They're everywhere, even in this last refuge. Track one down, traveller. Destroy the depot and bring me its precious armadium for use in my work. Uh, enemy Slayer Yonk requires me to use my signal booster to locate a depot and steal the armadium from within. It will use this substance to create an Exocraft acceleration module. Hurry, interloper. Do not permit the sentinels to pollute your world. I mean, we've already done that. Um, it's not going to credit me for that, though, because it actually was a bit... It's not just a building quest, it's a go-and-do-something quest. So, we'll leave him there for now. I don't think there's anything new from him. Although, I'm not sure why they'd reset it if there was nothing new. But, uh, right, this is the Overseer. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some Voltaic cells, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armourer. The Overseer asks me for Voltaic cells in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Captain Ennep has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the Voltaic cells they need. Right, I think we know how to make those already. Uh, let's have a look. We used to know how to make them. Have they been reset? No, nope, they haven't. What do we need? Marabulb. Um, from the underground fungus. Simple enough. Uh, I'll show this since it's been a while. But basically it's these things. These glowing plants. You find them... It's basically in the cave biome. It doesn't necessarily have to be underground. But it has to be on kind of the underground <coughs> uh, terrain type. But especially on this planet, I have found quite a lot of it uh, 
exposed. Now here it might be hidden. They do tend to spawn sometimes inside these little uh, stalactites. Right, I need a I need a hundred of it. You don't get much. You only get like eight, nine, ten per plant. So we'll be here a little while. Right, a hundred marabulb should make two voltaic cells. There we go. One. Two. Right, let's get back to base and hand them in. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asks for the voltaic cells so they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. There you go. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. Right, so we've got that. Uh, we've already got one of those, but... Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. Sounds good. So it is, with the sentinels and their attacks. But no more. Now, we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. Interesting. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Sure. Uh, how much pugnium? I quite, apparently I've already got some. Um, okay. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh? Their pugnium? The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asks me for the pugnium I have gathered. <laughs> Captain Eneb presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Uh, Thirteen decals. Right, that's, that's just a base construction decoration. I should let the Gek get on with this business. Should I? Apparently he wants to speak to me again. Things are aligning. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Oh yes, the farmer. We haven't got him yet. Indeed, I have already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalise their workstation. Captain Enep grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural pl uh, terminal plans. Selenium grows on hot planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to harvest. The armourer will supply the blueprint. I've got them already. Selenium is not easy to require in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. Right, so this is where we go uh, back into space, I suppose, and make our next jump. Uh, so... What do we need for the next warp cell? Well, we don't have antimatter. Um, we don't have any electron vapor. We do have. Okay, what are we missing? Thamium. Fine, we'll go and shoot some asteroids. Gee, half of these planets are undiscovered. Have we done anything in this system yet? There may not be any selenium here. Oh, there is. Uh, right, in Zushizuma. Right, so let's pick permission in this system and we'll stay here. Hello, hello. Right, uh, what do you got for me then? I can't believe I still can't collect rank 4 missions. Uh, this one. This one and this one we could do on that planet, I think. Unless there's no creatures on that planet, but sure. Let's take that one. And that one. Wow, look at these ones. Rank 8 mission could get us 380k. Advanced Sentinels, though. Those are the... Um, the little dogs things that shoot lasers. It's kind of hard to get those to spawn. You kind of you have to track down like a manufacturing facility and uh, 
Ah, or you um, you let your wanted timer expire at this moment, no combat sentinels. I think that's how that works. So that planet with the selenium on is over here, sort of behind this one where it was. So let's see, are there creatures on this planet? Uh, occasional creatures. Well, here's one to start with. Just let me scan you and then I'll kill you. Oh yes, uh, Jesus Christ. Pretty extreme. So there's only three sentinels. How many do I have to kill? Fifteen. Right. Well, let's focus on trying to find the selenium. It's over here. Number one. Selenium. And he only wanted 45. So that's quest done. There we are. One selenium plant. Boom. Uh, right. Now we need to try and track down some creatures. Damn, man, we need to get that uh, next upgrade for the fauna scanner. Make serious money off this. I can't believe none of this is triggering the sentinels. Oh, there's birds. Um, where are they? Ah, this guy. Come on. Let's let him call his mates in and see if that does trigger the advanced sentinels. Yes, no? Come on, Jesus, I haven't got all day. Uh, no, it just triggers another wave. I guess you have to wait for them to build up a few waves. Cleansing going on here. We've almost made it. Uh, I believe that's eleven. Come on. Thirteen. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Don't need any more sentinels. Should be it. 
Yeah, that's it. Right, so we've got uh, two missions complete and we've got all the stuff we need. Let's go. Right, that should be two to hand in. That's 50 grand almost in raw rewards and a couple of quantum accelerators should be. So valuable mission, valuable uh, trade goods. So we'll have 49 and a half grand. Increased standing with the Mercenaries Guild. And Explorer's Guild gives us three quantum accelerators. Pretty decent. Uh, okay, these are all level five and eight. Where's my, can I check my standing somehow? Um, the Merchant's Guild. Uh, well, I'm at level four with the Merchant's. Apparently I've earned about 9, almost 10 million units off the Merchants Guild. That can't be right. Yeah, I don't know if that means I'm rank 5 with the Explorers, or like what level Apprentice is. Uh, in 4 somethings... I don't know. We'll have to keep grinding out these missions and seeing. Right, let's go and sell some stuff. Then we'll go back to base. And, uh, oh, we can get Farmer Giles back. Now, he's already got a terminal, or he had a terminal um, upstairs. So, hopefully, once I. Um, I, might have to, I might have to put the terminal down again. But. I don't know, maybe he's the one who does the atmosphere farming stuff. What am I doing here? I don't want to talk to you. Actually, let's have a look at what you've got. No, 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 no. We know everything that you've got. Right, sell. Uh, 11 Iridium. Don't care about that. Um, Corvax Convergence Cube. Do we have one of those saved? No, don't think we do. So we'll hang on to that. That's just for handing in at trade stations. Alright, Selenium we want to hang on to. Uh, plutonium we need, obviously. Chris and I kind of need. Titanium very useful. Suspension fluid will be useful. Uh, um, well, hang on to these gravity nobles. They're a pain in the ass to find, and they're not that much money. Uh, these we'll get rid of. Three of those for 137k. Right, actually, was there anything on the ship I wanted to sell? I don't think so, but let's have a look. Ooh, yes, we'll get rid of. This is my exosuit, isn't it? Uh, right. So we've got one each of the racial trade goods. So okay, nothing else to get rid of. All right. Um, let's go back to base first. Uh, we do need to get the thamium for the warp crystal, for the warp uh, cell rather. But first of all, we'll see what the next mission in this chain is. Okay. In this cycle, a humble farmer. In others, there is no limit to their destruction. But there is no need to worry. That which you cannot see does not happen. The overseer's description of this potential farmer is alarming to say the least. Are they trying to upset me, or is this some secret released only by chance? Ask about the farmer. Do not worry, friend. We would all be very different in the wrong conditions. Such is the nature of things. Um, sure. Well, that's the scientist. Uh, do, I guess I need to build another ladder here. Did he give me the... Terminal? Uh, 
Um, I guess. Uh, log. Oh, what the fuck? That screen has changed a bit. The screen's a lot more useful now. Uh, let's just okay, upload all. Three hundred thousand was that all we got? I wonder if Nibelheim's still available. You can't really, you can't actually search for systems by name, can you? Oh, I remember some of these old ones from back when I was uh, still naming the planets. Uh, just seeing if there's um, if Nibelheim's still a thing. What's this? Uh, let's just. When was that discovered? It doesn't say, does it? It might have just been reset. Okay, well never mind, this is all beside the point. Um, so I guess I need to build a ladder here. Uh, right, how do I do the base building again? F, no, V, no, C, X, no, Z. There we are. Uh, room parts. Ladder. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. We want them on the opposite sides. Well, here's the farmer's terminal. I guess we need to go and recruit him. You can recruit farmers in space stations in GEC systems. This one isn't a GEC system, is it? This is... Um, discovery. Uh, Viking. Okay, well we need to make a jump anyway, so let's go back to uh, back to the system we were in, and from there we'll jump to a Gex system. Right, you need to track down an asteroid field, which should be fairly simple. They're all over the place. all over the place. There we go. Get some Thamium. I assume the silvery ones are the regular asteroids in the system. Nah, that should do it. Uh, right. Exosuit. Craft. Warp cell. Warp cell into the hyperdrive. And let's see where we're going. So, destination galactic core. This way. As far as we can towards the galactic core. Uh, is that right? I guess so. Out of jump range, right, let's start pulling back a little bit. Viking, we've got Korvax, Gek, there we go, 827 light years that way. So 
So, first thing we do is get on to oh, space proximity. Oh, okay. I get we're by the space station, but first thing we do is actually go into this anomaly. There's another uh, signal injection. We're counting down towards 16. I wonder what's going to happen when it hits 16. Game over, you lose. Uh, hello friend, Apollo. You are not like me, friend. You can still go to planets. You can still meet new life forms. Speak, shout, love. Nada and Apollo would be killed for going so far. You must learn more words. You must know how to make yourself heard, traveller. You are our only friend. Apollo claims they cannot teach me language directly. That their files on alien languages have been damaged. I wonder if I'm being manipulated somehow. The Gek watches me with an earnest and friendly sorrow, awaiting my discovery of more words. It is almost as if they want me to tell me something. Transmit language data. I present proof of my linguistic advancement and Polo bursts into tears. They say I... they wish I remembered my old life, our, ta our old times together. I ask Polo what they mean, but they claim they cannot talk about it. They claim that they have said too much. Holy shit. Uh, pretty sure we've got that already, but thanks. Wait, have we got that? Walk back to Tau. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah, yeah, we've got that. Um, all must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape reality fall. Haven't we been through this already? Yeah, we've been through this already. Um, we are going to ask for resources, I suppose. Nada gives me a gift. 38 grand. Thanks, Nardo. You're a mate. So I guess there's, there's just no more quests from Nardo, at least not for the moment. Alright, let's get to the space station and find our farmer. So hints of a further plot twist there. Uh, Apollo remembers us from a previous life, apparently. Okay, I'm looking for a farmer. You're a sales geck. Uh, oh, you are. Fruit farmer. Friend, you have worked for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, in each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me, yes? The geck chirps happily at the sight of me. They promised to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. Yes. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Okay, uh, let's teleport home. And he'll meet us there. Even though we're going to be moving faster than the speed of light. And he's uh, we've got a head start on him. Somehow he's going to beat us there. But... So right at the top. Here's the farmer. Here he is. What do you got for us? This is a home of glass and metal, traveller. It is in dire need of my touch. But no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. Continue. So, copyright flower and planter plans received and three items learned your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt friend the earth provides life in death after all take this hydroponics tray and these copyright flower seeds grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life broker Kyra stimp is already bedding in nicely they've already given me the means to beautify my home if I prove myself a worthy farmer with this copyright flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume of copyright. 
Um, for anyone who doesn't know, copyright is actually animal shit in No Man's Sky. That's normally how you get it in the wild. You feed them animals and they poop out copyright. Uh, well, we've actually got to do that for him. Uh, how long have we got? Ah, we're at 50 minutes. Uh, well, let's just go and see if we can actually do this, because I'm sure I've got a copyright flower already. And I've got a bunch of hydroponics trays. Um, all right. uh, Venom Merchant, not you. Maybe I don't have a copyright flower. Mordite, Frostwort. No, I don't. Um, I do have a spare tray, I think, though. Okay. So, we go into the Z menu. Um, I believe it should. There should be a farming one. Copyright flower. Right. We need thamium and we need copyright. Oh bollocks! I'm not going out to get that right now. Uh, we'll do this next time then. Uh, so that's it for another episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, a fair bit of progress this time, I do feel. We've got our farmer back, Farmer Giles. Uh, Giles 2.0, in fact, because I'm pretty sure we had a different one last time. Uh, we're going to proceed along these farming quests and hopefully at some point one of them is going to teach us about atmospheric farming because it seems like a really good way to make a lot of money. Uh, but for now, I've been Eki Thump, that's been No Man's Sky. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game and I will see you next time.